Hey everybody, welcome to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial. I'm your host, Buddy Blackford, and today I'm going to go over the minimum requirements for your computer to be able to run Photoshop CS6, and I'm going to add in my input what I think you should really have to run CS6. So, since CS6 can be ran on Windows and Mac uh, systems, I'm going to post up both of them so you know what to uh, have or what you need to upgrade on your uh, computers. So, I use a PC and I'm going to be more knowledgeable about using the uh, Windows platform than I am the Mac, but I do know I have used Macs before uh, several times, just never actually like have been able to like build a Mac since I usually just buy them from the store and they're already built I guess I like to build my own computers and window or uh, PCs so yeah, I've got a little bit of an advantage when I'm talking about Windows over Mac anyways I'm not gonna get into like Windows versus Mac debates but we'll leave that for you guys to decide in the forums so for Windows we're gonna um, need we're going to have a couple processors that are our minimum requirements here and you're going to need a Intel Xeon, Centrino or Pentium 4 and these are the minimum requirements anything that's uh, been created later than these you can also use and it's recommended um, to e any of these will be fine to run Photoshop CS6 for the Mac it's the Intel based Mac processors. For your operating system, the lowest for Windows is Vista. And I would recommend um, getting something like either Windows 7 or Windows 8, which can handle more memory for being able to use uh, the Photoshop CS6 64 bit, which I'll talk about next in the next uh, tutorial. For the Mac, you need the OS X 10.6.6. For both systems, you're going to need one gigabyte available on your hard drive. Of course, you're going to want to have way more than that available because your pictures and then your Photoshop files and everything like that. But this is what you need to be able to install it on your system. My recommendation is to get another hard drive, either an external hard drive or another hard drive, internal hard drive that you use just to store stuff on as a backup in case some of your files um, get corrupted or your hard drive gets corrupted somehow you'll have a backup it, the, the worst thing is to have worked on a bunch of programs made a bunch of cool stuff and your hard drive fails and then you lose everything now you have nothing to put uh, show on your demo reels or show in your portfolio or anything like that to other uh, people that might want to hire you hire you or use you as a Photoshop expert for RAM which is memory you're gonna need for both one gigabyte of RAM minimum now two gigabytes is recommended by Adobe for using Photoshop um, I would recommend having at least four to eight gigabytes of RAM because when you start using um, Photoshop if you if you can use Photoshop C CS6 64 bit the RAM will higher RAM will give you better performance now for a video card you can have both of these 16 bit 256 megabyte video cards um, I would recommend having a at least a one gigabyte video card um, 256 is probably going to be a little slow so get a uh, uh, t one gigabyte video card anything that's been made in the past like two years will probably be good for your monitor same thing for both 1024 by 768 is the resolution that you're gonna want now in my opinion it's if you're gonna be using Photoshop a lot and you plan on making a um, a living out of it I would get the best monitor that you could afford uh, it should be an HD monitor with uh, like a 1080p resolution at least and it should be able to handle lots of colors so an LED monitor would be nice but get the best one that you can because the whole thing about Photoshop is 
um, working with a lot of colors to make sure that what you're working on looks good on j not just your monitor but like everywhere else so if your colors are all effed up on your monitor then they're gonna be effed up everywhere else and you're gonna be like oh crap I didn't didn't realize that it looks so crappy so make sure you th that you get a pretty good monitor the best that you can afford so those are just the requirements that you need the minimum requirements and then I give you my um, my recommendations myself um, so yeah that's uh, I guess that's it I always have a hard time ending all these tutorial videos not really sure how to end them in like a way that sounds cool but I just like to uh, thank you guys for watching and subscribe to keep updated on all the Photoshop uh, tutorials that are going to be coming out soon so I'm going to be making a bunch of them and I'd like to thank you guys for uh, watching them so see you guys later have a good one